Feeling overwhelmed by the constant rush of 2024, drowning in deadlines, anxieties, and the pressure to keep up? You're not alone. In this ever-connected, ever-demanding world, our mental well-being is under siege. But what if there was a way to navigate this chaos with more than just caffeine and coping mechanisms? Imagine facing adversity with inner strength, finding peace amidst the noise, and living a life of purpose even when everything feels uncertain. Enter Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's not just dusty scrolls in a museum. It's a practical toolkit for living a good life, honed by Roman emperors, everyday citizens, and even slaves facing unthinkable challenges. This isn't about blind optimism or ignoring reality. It's about training your mind, mastering your emotions, and focusing on what truly matters. And the best part? You can start today, right here, right now. Join us on a journey through 10 stoic habits that can transform your 2024. Prepare to discover how ancient wisdom can help you find resilience, reduce stress, and build a life worth living, even in the midst of modern chaos. One morning ritual for inner peace. Start your day like a stoic. Imagine waking up, not to the blaring alarm and frantic rush, but to a sense of calm and purpose. That's the power of a stoic morning ritual. It's like priming your mind for a day of resilience, setting the tone for focused action and inner peace amidst the inevitable challenges. Why does your morning matter? Think of your day as a journey. Your morning is the first step and how you take it sets the pace for the whole adventure. With a rushed, stressed start, you're more likely to stumble throughout the day. But with a mindful, intentional morning ritual, you can face whatever comes with equanimity and strength. Stoic tools for a tranquil dawn. Here are some key stoic practices to weave into your morning routine. Meditation. Just five to 10 minutes of focusing on your breath or a calming mantra can quiet your mind and anchor you in the present moment. Imagine yourself like Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and stoic philosopher, contemplating life's complexities in the peaceful hours before dawn. Journaling. Pen down your thoughts, anxieties, and even gratitudes. Seeing them on paper can help you process them and gain perspective. Seneca, another Stoic figure, emphasized the value of daily reflection to take account of each day. Gratitude exercises. Start your day by listing things you're grateful for, big or small. This simple act can shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance already present in your life. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminds us to look around you and be grateful for everything that supports you. Tailoring your ritual. Your morning ritual is personal, so experiment and find what works for you. Here are some tips. Start small. Don't overwhelm yourself with a packed schedule. Begin with one or two practices and gradually add more. Find your peaceful corner. Create a dedicated space, free from distractions, for your morning routine. Embrace nature. Take your practice outdoors for a dose of fresh air and grounding energy. Consistency is key. The more you practice, the more ingrained your ritual becomes, paving the way for a calmer, more mindful you. Remember, your morning ritual is not about achieving perfection. It's about taking conscious steps towards inner peace and setting yourself up for a more stoic journey through your day. So, breathe deeply, reflect intentionally, and start your day like a wise Roman emperor, in control, peaceful, and ready to face whatever life throws your way. Two, negative visualization, embracing the worst to live, fearlessly. Ever hear the saying, expect the best, prepare for the worst? That's essentially the essence of negative visualization. 
a stoic practice that might sound counterintuitive but can actually build incredible resilience. It's not about wallowing in negativity, but rather mentally rehearsing potential setbacks to build emotional immunity and stay calm when difficulties arise. Imagine the Stoics, like Emperor Marcus Aurelius, facing the battlefield against overwhelming odds. They didn't just charge in blindly. They visualized defeat, injury, even death, not to dread it, but to immunize themselves against fear and emotional turmoil. By confronting the worst beforehand, they remained focused, strategic, and able to act effectively, even in the face of adversity. Bringing negative visualization to your life. This powerful practice isn't reserved for ancient emperors. Here's how you can incorporate it into your daily routine. Start small. Choose a specific area of your life where you experience anxiety, like giving a presentation, facing a difficult conversation, or losing your job. The picture the worst case scenario. Don't sugarcoat it. Go into vivid detail about how things could go wrong without dwelling on them morbidly. Focus on your reactions. Imagine how you would respond in that situation. Would you panic, freeze up, or could you stay calm and collected? Formulate coping strategies. Practice your response in your mind. Visualize yourself using stoic principles like focusing on what you can control, practicing gratitude, and taking deep breaths. Remember, negative visualization isn't about predicting the future or manifesting negativity. It's about training your mind to handle whatever reality throws your way. By proactively confronting your fears, you build resilience, confidence, and the ability to stay calm under pressure. Three, focus on the controllable. Navigating life's crossroads with stoic wisdom. Imagine standing at a crossroads, paths diverging before you. One is littered with thorns, shrouded in uncertainty, while the other stretches smooth and familiar. Stoicism urges you to focus on the path you hold the power to navigate. Not the thorns of external events, but the smooth ground of your own thoughts and actions. This, friend, is the crux of the dichotomy of control. The dichotomy of control, steering your ship in life's ocean. Think of life as a vast ocean. Storms rage, waves crash, currents pull, yet amidst the tumult, you command your ship, the rudder controlling your course. This rudder, in stoic terms, represents your internal control. It encompasses your thoughts, your choices, your reactions. The stormy ocean, on the other hand, symbolizes external factors. The weather, the opinions of others, events beyond your direct influence. Focusing on the uncontrollable ocean is futile. It's like trying to command the wind with whispers. Stoicism, instead, empowers you to harness the rudder of your internal controls. By mastering your thoughts, choosing your actions wisely, and cultivating resilient emotions, you navigate through life storms with greater stability and purpose. Everyday Stoicism, identifying the controllables. Let's translate this wisdom into practice. Imagine job dissatisfaction. You can't control the company's decisions, but you can control your attitude, your skills development, and your job search efforts. Traffic jam. You can't control the roadblocks, but you can control your patience, your music selection, or even using the time productively. A negative comment. You can't control the speaker's words, but you can control your interpretation, your reaction, and your ability to rise above the negativity. Letting go. Embracing what you can't change. Letting go of the uncontrollable doesn't mean ignoring it. It's about acknowledging its existence while shifting your focus to what you can influence.
Here are some tips. Identify the controllables and uncontrollables. Ask yourself, can I directly influence this situation? Accept what you can't change. Acknowledge the external factors and their impact, but avoid dwelling on them. Focus on your internal power. Channel your energy into your thoughts, actions, and reactions, which are truly within your grasp. Practice mindfulness. Techniques like meditation can help you stay present and prevent your mind from being swept away by uncontrollable events. By embracing the dichotomy of control, you adopt a proactive approach to life. You become the captain of your ship, navigating challenges with wisdom and grace. Remember, the vast ocean of life may be unpredictable, but your internal rudder steers you towards a more fulfilling and resilient journey. Feel free to ask any further questions about applying this principle in specific situations. 4. Embrace impermanence, flowing like water. Through life's seasons, imagine a beautiful flower in full bloom, vibrant and captivating. But hold that image in your mind. Inevitably, the petals will wilt, the colors fade, and the bloom will give way to something new. This, my friends, is the essence of impermanence. A fundamental truth that permeates every aspect of life, both joys and sorrows. Stoicism reminds us that everything including our own existence, is temporary. This isn't meant to be a morbid reminder, but rather a potent tool for living a fuller, more present life. By embracing impermanence, we cultivate gratitude for the present moment, let go of the grip of anxieties about the future, and learn to ride the waves of change with equanimity. Memento Mori, remembering our mortality the ancient Stoic practice of memento mori. Remember you will die might seem unsettling at first, but its real purpose is to bring our focus back to the preciousness of each day. Imagine yourself like Marcus Aurelius, gazing at a skull and contemplating the inevitability of death. It's not about dwelling on the end, but about remembering that our time is finite, urging us to make the most of it. Living in the present, exercises for impermanence. So, how can we embrace this idea of impermanence? In our daily lives, here are some exercises. Practice gratitude. Take a moment each day to list down things you're grateful for, big or small. Recognizing the abundance in the present moment makes impermanence less daunting. Let go of attachments. Clinging to possessions, relationships, or even plans for the future can create suffering when they inevitably change. Practice detachment and find joy in the flow of experience. Focus on what you can control. Instead of wasting energy on things beyond your influence, channel your efforts towards your actions and reactions in the present moment. Live intentionally. Every day is a gift Ask yourself, what do I want to create with this day? And live with purpose, knowing that time is precious and fleeting. Embracing impermanence doesn't mean ignoring the future or shying away from challenges. It's about accepting the ever-changing nature of life and finding peace and purpose within the flow. Like water cascading through seasons, we can learn to move with grace and resilience appreciating the beauty and fleeting nature of each moment. Remember, impermanence is not a foe, but a reminder. A reminder to cherish the present, let go of anxieties and live life with intention. As the Stoics would say, live today as if it were your last. Five, embrace the four pillars, building a fulfilling life with Stoic virtues. Imagine life as a majestic temple, your happiness and well-being the shining beacon within. To build this temple, Stoicism offers four luminous pillars. Wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, Ike. These are not mere ideals, but practical tools for navigating life's complexities and cultivating a rich, meaningful existence. 
wisdom seeking truth and knowledge. The first pillar, wisdom, urges us to constantly always seek knowledge and understanding. It's about questioning our assumptions, exploring different perspectives, and developing a keen mind that discerns truth from mere opinion. Imagine yourself like Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, analyzing your judgments and striving for clear, rational thinking. By cultivating wisdom, you make informed choices, avoid impulsive actions, and live a life guided by reason, not fleeting emotions. Courage, facing challenges with strength. The second pillar, courage, empowers you to face difficulties with unwavering resolve. It's not about the absence of fear, but the ability to act despite it. Think of Marcus Aurelius, leading his troops amidst the chaos of war, his courage fueled by reason and a sense of duty. In your daily life, courage means confronting difficult conversations, overcoming procrastination, and standing up for what you believe in, even when it's challenging. Justice, acting with fairness and compassion, the third pillar, justice, calls for fairness and ethical conduct in all your interactions. It's about treating others with respect, upholding your promises, and giving them their due. Imagine Seneca, the influential Stoic writer and advisor, advocating for justice and social reforms. In your personal life, justice translates to honesty in your dealings empathy for others, and making fair decisions even when it's inconvenient. Temperance, finding balance and moderation. The final pillar, temperance, encourages moderation and self-control in all aspects of life. It's about finding the middle ground between indulgence and deprivation, striving for balance in your desires and pursuits. Picture yourself like Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism, living a simple life grounded in virtue, not driven by fleeting pleasures. In your daily life, temperance means managing your desires, avoiding harmful excesses, and making conscious choices that contribute to your well-being. Remember, cultivating these virtues isn't a one-time pursuit, but a continuous journey. Every day offers opportunities to refine your wisdom, demonstrate courage, act with justice, and practice temperance. As you build these pillars into your life, you'll find yourself standing strong, living with purpose, and feeling a deep sense of fulfillment that no external force can shake. 6. Unmask your mind, challenging assumptions for a clearer life. Imagine sailing through life on autopilot, steered by unquestioned assumptions and inherited beliefs. While it might seem smooth at first, hidden reefs of negativity and limitations can lurk beneath the surface, ready to wreck your journey. Stoicism, however, offers a powerful lighthouse, the practice of challenging your assumptions. Why is this so crucial? Our brains, despite their remarkable abilities, are prone to cognitive biases, automatic patterns that can distort our thinking and lead us astray. These biases can range from negativity bias, where we focus on the bad, to confirmation bias, where we favor information that confirms our existing beliefs. Stoicism equips you with tools to navigate these mental pitfalls. Logical analysis. Just like a detective examining evidence, Stoics dissect their thoughts, questioning their validity and logic. Ask yourself, is this thought based on facts or my personal interpretation? What evidence supports this belief? By dissecting your assumptions, you expose hidden distortions and faulty reasoning. Self-examination. Journaling, meditation, and introspection are powerful tools for unearthing hidden biases. By taking a step back and observing your own thoughts and reactions, you can identify recurring patterns of negativity or unhelpful beliefs. Challenging assumptions in action. So, how can you start questioning your autopilot in real life? Here are some tips. Listen for should and must statements. 
These often reflect internalized expectations rather than reality. Challenge them by asking, who says I should must do this? And explore alternative viewpoints. Seek out diverse perspectives. Surround yourself with people with different experiences and opinions. Exposing yourself to different viewpoints can help you break out of echo chambers and identify your own biases. Practice mindfulness. Pay attention to your emotions and reactions. What triggers negativity? Can you identify cognitive biases playing a role? Mindfulness gives you the space to observe and question your mental patterns. Experiment and reframe. Challenge your assumptions by trying new things and stepping outside your comfort zone. If your belief about a situation proves inaccurate, reframe it with a more positive and realistic perspective. Remember, challenging your assumptions is not about dismantling everything you believe. It's about cultivating a curious mind, open to new information and evolving perspectives. Mm. By uncovering and questioning your mental biases, you pave the way for clearer thinking, better decision-making, and a more fulfilling life. E7. Discover your compass. Finding purpose with stoic wisdom. Imagine standing at the foot of a mountain, a vast landscape stretching before you, yet no map to guide your way. This, friend, is the human condition. A limitless potential for meaning, yet often unsure of the path to take. Stoicism, however, offers a powerful compass. The concept of living in accordance with nature. It's not about merging with the wilderness, but about aligning yourself with your inner truth, your unique role in the grand tapestry of existence. Finding your place in the universe. The Stoics believed we are all part of a larger cosmos, interconnected and playing a crucial role in its unfolding. Your purpose then lies in discovering your place within this grand symphony. Think of Marcus Aurelius, Roman emperor and stoic philosopher, fulfilling his duty with unwavering resolve, understanding his life was but a single note in the vast song of the universe. Reflecting on your values and passions. To find your purpose, embark on a journey of self-discovery. Ask yourself, what are my core values? What qualities do I want to embody in my life? Honesty, creativity, compassion, what ignites my passion? What activities fill me with energy and spark joy? What am I naturally good at? How can I use my talents and skills to contribute to the world? By reflecting on these questions, you begin to paint a picture of your unique purpose, your personal contribution to the universe's unfolding. Aligning your actions with your purpose. Once you have a glimpse of your compass, it's time to set sail. Here's how. Make conscious choices. Every decision, every action can be a step towards your purpose. Ask yourself, does this align with my values and passions? Embrace small steps. Don't wait for a grand revelation. Start with small daily actions that embody your purpose. Find fulfillment in the journey. Focus on the present moment, the joy of using your talents and contributing to the world. The reward isn't a destination, but the satisfaction of living a life of purpose. Remember, your purpose is not a fixed target, but a guiding star. It may evolve and shift as you journey through life. Embrace the fluidity, embrace the exploration, and trust that your unique contribution to the universe is waiting to be discovered. 8. Bloom where you're planted, cultivating happiness with stoic gratitude. Imagine two seeds sown side by side. One receives only sunlight and water, the other sunlight, water and a handful of precious fertilizer. Which do you think will flourish, radiating vibrant blooms? Just like that second seed, our lives can blossom with a secret ingredient, deep abiding gratitude. 
Stoicism wasn't just about facing hardship with grace. It was about finding joy in the very fabric of existence. And at the heart of this joy lies gratitude, a powerful tool for cultivating both happiness and resilience. Gratitude in the face of Stoic trials. Picture Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, forced into slavery. With every hardship, he found reason for gratitude, for the ability to endure, for the lessons learned, even for the opportunity to test his own strength. Epictetus understood that focusing on what he could control, his own perspective, brought him inner peace and even amidst external challenges. Everyday exercises for a grateful heart. Bring this transformative practice into your life with these simple exercises. The Gratitude Journal. Before sleep, jot down three things you're grateful for, big or small. A sunny day, a kind word, a delicious meal. Anything that sparks a warmth in your heart. The What If Game. Take a moment to ponder the what-ifs of your life. What if you hadn't gotten that job? What if you hadn't met that person? This can shift your perspective, highlighting the blessings you might take for granted. Mindful appreciation. Savor the little things. Take a deep breath and fully experience the warmth of the sun on your skin, the taste of your morning coffee, the laughter of a loved one. Cultivating gratitude beyond words. Remember, gratitude isn't just a fleeting feeling. It's a muscle that strengthens with use. Here are some ways to integrate it into your actions. Express your appreciation. Tell your loved ones you appreciate them. Write a thank you note. Even offer a genuine compliment to a stranger. Be generous. Share your time, resources or skills with others. Seeing the positive impact you create adds another layer to your gratitude. Live with intention. Focus on making the most of each day. Don't just exist, participate actively in your life and find joy in the journey. Embracing gratitude might not change the world overnight, but it changes the lens through which you see it. With every seed of appreciation you plant, you cultivate a garden of happiness and resilience, blooming even in the face of life's inevitable challenges. So start your practice today, one grateful breath at a time, and watch as your inner garden comes alive with vibrant joy. A nine, embrace the tapestry, seeing others as fellow humans with stoic wisdom. Imagine humanity as a vast tapestry woven with threads of diverse cultures, experiences and perspectives, each thread unique yet all interconnected, forming a breathtaking picture of shared existence. This friend is the essence of the stoic principle, viewing everyone as fellow humans, worthy of respect and understanding. Cosmopolitanism, citizens of the world. The Stoics called this principle cosmopolitanism. It's not about abandoning your specific identity, but about recognizing that we are all citizens of a larger world, united by our shared humanity. Think of Epictetus, reminding us that we are all children of one parent, Zeus, a powerful metaphor for our universal connection practicing compassion in everyday life. So, how can we weave this philosophy into the fabric of our daily interactions? Here are some tips. Challenge your biases. We all have preconceived notions, actively question them, seek out diverse perspectives, and try to see the world through another's eyes. Practice active listening. Truly listen to others without interrupting or judging. Be present for their stories, their struggles, and their joys. Offer empathy and compassion. Imagine yourself in their shoes. What would you need in that situation? Offer a kind word, a helping hand, or simply a listening ear. Remember the big picture. In moments of conflict, recall the tapestry of humanity. We are all part of the same journey, even when our paths diverge. 
seeing others as mirrors. By recognizing our shared humanity, we foster not only understanding, but also personal growth. By seeing our flaws and virtues reflected in others, we gain opportunities for self-reflection and improvement. The tapestry of humanity is not static, it's constantly evolving, and each act of compassion, each thread of understanding, makes it stronger and more beautiful. Remember, true connection doesn't require uniformity. It thrives in celebrating differences, in embracing the richness of the human tapestry. So step outside your comfort zone, reach out with an open heart and watch as the threads of your own life intertwine with others, creating a vibrant masterpiece of empathy and shared humanity. 10. From wisdom to action, embrace the stoic journey. Friends, we've traversed a whirlwind tour of stoicism, unearthing its powerful tools for navigating life's complexities. We've explored the beauty of impermanence, the strength of inner virtue, and the joy of seeing others as fellow travelers on this grand human adventure. But remember, dear viewers, stoicism isn't a museum exhibit. It's a field guide for living. The time for action is now. Take these principles, these practices, and weave them into the fabric of your daily life. Challenge your assumptions, cultivate gratitude, embrace the flow of change, and let your inner compass guide you towards a life of purpose. Remember, the greatest joy doesn't lie in passive observation, but in active participation. Stoicism is not about perfection, it's about progress. Be gentle with yourself, embrace the stumbles, and learn from your missteps. Every sunrise offers a new chance to embody the wisdom we've discussed. Remember, even the smallest ripple can create a wave of positive change. So, share your journey with us. In the comments below, tell us what resonates most with you, what practices you're excited to explore, and what challenges you might face. We're all fellow travelers on this stoic path, and Tai, by sharing our experiences, we inspire and support each other to rise above the noise and live lives of true meaning and purpose. Let's embark on this adventure together, fellow Stoics. May your thoughts be clear, your actions aligned with virtue, and your journey filled with the unwavering peace of a life lived in accordance with nature. Now go forth and make the world a little more Stoic, one moment, one choice at a time. Friends, we've delved into the heart of Stoicism, a timeless philosophy for crafting a life of resilience, purpose, and joy. Here's what we've discovered. Challenge your assumptions, question your thoughts, seek diverse perspectives, and navigate life with a clear, inquisitive mind. Embrace the flow of change. Impermanence is a fact, not a foe. Learn to live gracefully with the ebb and flow of life. Cultivate inner virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These are the pillars of a fulfilling life, guiding your choices and actions. See others as fellow humans. We are all threads in the tapestry of humanity, interconnected and worthy of respect and compassion. Take action, live with purpose. Don't just observe, participate actively in your life, using stoic principles as your compass. This, dear viewers, is just the beginning of your stoic journey. Explore further, delve deeper into the writings of Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, and Seneca. Discover countless resources, books, podcasts, and communities eager to support you on your path. Remember, 2024 is yours to sculpt. With the wisdom of Stoicism as your guide, you have the power to transform your thoughts, reshape your actions, and build a life that truly thrives amidst life's inevitable challenges. So, step onto your path, fellow Stoics. Let 2024 be a year of inner strength, unwavering peace, and a life lived with purpose and joy. Thank you for joining me on this adventure.
Until next time, remember, the seeds of transformation are always within you. Plant them, nurture them, and watch your inner stoic blossom in the bright light of 2024.